So let's have a look at the new moon in Leo. What does that bring to us as individuals? So you can pick card one, two or three. Which moon do you like? You do not have to take notice of these astrological signs. You're just picking pile one, two or three. So whatever you're drawn to, you can pause the um, video and see which card you are drawn to. One, two or three. So pause the video and then continue timestamp below. So if you pick this pile, which is pile one, you've got the first quarter moon in Cancer and push through your insecurity. So this is a new phase that you might be going through to actually have the confidence and to have that kind of um, heartfelt emotion. So when we have the Cancerian Sea, everything can be washed away. So this is definitely about looking in the past. And we, if we have these um, tarot cards, you do have the Emperor. So this is starting. Now we do have the Emperor in energy with this trine within this new Leo. So the Emperor is going to be really significant within your life at the moment, really starting to actually move through these certain insecurities that you may or you may not have. So when we feel um, that we don't have courage, we need to be a little bit softer, a little bit more gentle. But we need to a firm hand. We need that firm, fixed energy of the Leo to really move through that aspect. So it is very much um, going to really play a huge part, this Leo energy, about soft on the inside and hard on the outside outside so you can see where that cancerian quality comes from so for yourselves really move through this energy of moving forward also if you pick this pile you do have the ace of swords this is a great time for you to have clarification within your mindset and really make things happen so the sword of truth is out and seeing both signs, both hard and soft, and finding the courage to actually achieve some of your goals will be a really new thing for some of you. So whether that's having confidence in starting new relationships or starting to be self-employed, starting a new business, whatever it is, the sword of truth is here for you to be able to start things and really conquer your fears. You've also got the King of Cups here, which is a great card because it means that you are definitely in charge of your emotions. The heartfelt from the Leo is really expanding to trust yourself, to love yourself and really see things in a, a brighter light than ever before. So when we do push through insecurities with the King of Cups here, this is about love, determination and especially when you're holding a sword of truth, that determination in love factor is really going to push through things for you. So these are great cards for you. And if you do push through any insecurity, just, you know, fake it before you make it. But it's almost like having that pride sense of strength within you. So this is a strong energy at this moment in time with the trine of Venus and all that love aspect. So it's really going to expand. So just expand that love to you. Be that conqueror that you can be. Thank you, Pile 1. So, guys, if you pick Pile 2 today, then your moon card is last quarter moon in Taurus. And be proud of yourself. So because of the Leo energy is very proud and have that inner strength, that courage, you can be proud of yourself. Because if you can't accept yourself um, as being proud and, and really kind of say, well done for all the things that you have done, well, who else is going to? So this is a new start for you to just take pride in yourself and go, yes, I've achieved a greatness. So with your tarot reading, we have five of cups. So even though you may have suffered disappointments and sadnesses within our life, you've still got to be proud of your achievements. You've got over it or you're getting over it. So when we focus on pain and suffering, we can just have all that within our life. 
we need to demolish that and kind of move past that to the goodness. So if we do have pride completely about ourselves, we can start to have confidence as that beautiful lion, the Leo energy. So we can start again, definitely. So when we hold the two of cups and we see those opportunities coming towards us, it's going to be more grander than what we have suffered with. So sometimes it's about releasing the old to really say, I am good enough and I definitely deserve good things within my life. You've also have the three of swords. So being proud of yourself is letting go of those toxins. Just imagine if you let go all the pain in your life. So the build up is a very cleansing. A lot of people don't like to let go of something because they don't know what to replace it with. But if you have pride in yourself and really have that earth quality of generosity toward yourself, then this is going to be healing. So let go of all that unnecessary pain in this newness and then you'll see a huge improvement. And you have the Knight of Wands here. So this is taking charge of where you do want to go. So when we have the Leo energy, it's bright, it's big, it's dynamic. So the action that's needed at the moment is to make sure that you are letting go of the pain and look at yourself in the mirror and go, I love myself. I'm willing to actually accept myself for who I am. I don't need anyone else to validate that. I am a real strong, lovable human being. So that's your little mantra. <laughs> so moving on to um, pile three, pile three. So if you chose pile three, your moon card today is the first quarter in Leo and be humble. So it's great to be that big proud lion. And when we are humble within ourselves, we can be assertive. We can be strong, intelligent, lovable people. But it's also about taking a step back and realizing where we have come from. We've all had a particular difficult journey in life as a human being. So, you know, just kind of looking at things in a more humblest, simplistic way is going to really move through things at the moment. So it's great to have confidence, but know that we can't be cocky. <laughs> So the tarot messages of today is the three of wands. So you're well on your journey and it's, sometimes it's good to look over your plane and go, yeah, this is my kingdom. But with a humbleness, it's great that we're achieving. It's fantastic and we still should achieve. There's nothing wrong with that. So the universe is recognizing that you are have power and greatness within your life at the moment and everything is coming to fulfillment um you can make a tweak here on there which is fine but it, everything is looking good also you do have the four of wands and this is the celebration of who you are but still being humble we can't be too coffee yes I, i've just got this and i've got that um like i've just won a deal on the business or i'm going to get married and look at me <laughs> which is great nothing wrong with that but still, we need a little bit of sensitivity to those around us as well. So with the four of wands here, this is about being grateful. So humble, grateful, and it just sets up that great energy for even more. So these are all great cards. And also you do have the magician. So putting the magic within your life is going to be a great aspect. And how we do that is we have all the tools within the trade. And, and this is where we need to see that we can explain to people, we can feel, we've got that confidence. So the expansion of heart and love is definitely there for you. But sometimes we've got to be humble enough that it doesn't reverse back. Because when it reverts upside down, it's almost like it can be a trick. So this is why it's very essential for you to look at the direction that you are going so we don't want to trip ourselves up. We really need to see that everything is fine and everything's going to come in a balanced kind of way to bring to you the confidence, but also the subtleness of simplicity within that as well. So I hope you enjoy your piles, guys. 
and enjoy the new moon, a new moon with full of Leo energy and love.